Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla has said a new tradition of leveling allegations and counter allegations being observed in parliament and state assemblies these days is not proper for the country's constitutional democracy. Birla stressed the need for constructive debate and discussion in houses to make democracy lively and active. He also said that while criticism is a shuddhi ging or purification ritual in democracy, disrupting the houses in a planned manner and causing disruption in speeches of governors are not a good tradition. The European Union is considering a new set of sanctions totaling 11 billion euros against Russia and some third countries providing vital goods that Moscow uses to boost its troops on the battlegrounds in Ukraine. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said that the package under consideration by the EU's 27 member countries specifically seeks to deprive Russia of military equipment it needs and cannot get anywhere else. It includes proposals to subject seven Iranian entities to sanctions to try to prevent Russia from using Iranian drones to hit Ukrainian civilian infrastructure. Team India have become the number one ranked side in the world across all three formats. India are only the second team after South Africa and the first Asian nation to achieve this feat. The Proteas were number one in all three formats back in 2014. While Rohit Sharma's men were already top of the pile in ODIs and T20Is, their win in Nagpur Test saw them leapfrog the Aussies to the top spot in the longest format as well. Britain's Queen Consort Camilla will be wearing a crown without the controversial colonial-era Kohinoor diamond claimed by India for her coronation ceremony with husband King Charles III on May 6, Buckingham Palace announced. Her choice of the Queen Mary crown means it may only have a replica of Kohinoor diamond with the crown being repurposed with jewels paying tribute to Queen Elizabeth II. The crown with original Kohinoor was last worn by Queen Elizabeth II's mother Elizabeth the Queen Mother.